Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I would like to talk further about the proposed physical damage and material system that CIG are developing and how it will drastically shape almost everything we do in the PU. These videos are made possible thanks to my very generous patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. Also, if you do enjoy my content, please consider hitting subscribe and helping the channel to grow. So firstly, what is the physical damage and physical material system? Basically, every material in the game will have values applied to them. For example, penetration value, tensile strength, density, thickness, how it reacts to all the various damage types in the game like thermal, ballistic, energy, electrical, chemical. Simply put, every material in the game will behave and react realistically as you would expect them to in the real world, including some of Star Citizen's own invented materials. Now, everything in the game from a ship a weapon to armor and clothing, even a coffee cup, everything will be made up from the materials you would expect them to be made from. So ships are made from durable materials to withstand space and other environments, armor to be made from various protective materials, a coffee cup for example might be made from plastic or ceramic and so on. And each material and item will age, degrade and damage also realistically as you would expect. Now this is of course going to influence and affect all aspects of Star Citizen from combat to salvaging, repair and of course the economy. So in this video I would just like to touch on some of the various professions and ways that this physical damage and material system will help to drive much deeper and engaging gameplay to show why this system is A going to be a major game changer when complete and B create engaging systems that each tie together regardless of what it is that you're doing in the PU. Anyways let us start with the most obvious one being combat. Now combat is an important system which will affect all of us at some point be that in a ship in a vehicle, on foot, or whatever. Now consider that you're buying some armor for your character, you'll need to consider what types of weapons you might be coming up against. Is it ballistic, energy, something more exotic? Player armors will provide physical protection from most damage types, but not all damage types all at the same time. But maybe protection from ballistic firearms or energy burns and so on. And with velocity, ammo type, angle, and many other factors being realistically and physically calculated, choosing the right armor for the job will be very important. Not to mention environmental effects. Now apply the same principles of personal armor to a ship and you will physically see the damage appearing on your ship at that exact location it was hit, along with the accurate severity of that damage. So the influence this physical damage and material system will have on combat will be huge. Choosing the right ship, the armor, items for the job, and physically taking cover will be so important and drive more realistic and engaging skirmishes wherever they happen. Be that in space, in atmosphere, planet side, on a mountain top, or across a, an arid tundra, or even in a derelict space station. It'll mean properly planning an advance or assault will be more important so that you stand the best chance of making it out alive. So what happens when you've been in a fight, your armor, your ships, your weapons and equipment have all received lots of damage and either no longer function at all or just no longer function optimally? Well, we will need to be able to repair all of our gear. Every material will have its own composition, basically the raw resources needed to create that particular material used to craft each item. For example, some may require mined materials, others from salvage or trade. Each material on a ship will have its own recipe for what is needed to fix up that section. So for example, each repair will consist of A, gathering those raw construction materials, B, combining them into the repair compound needed, and then C, reapplying that compound to repair the damaged section, breach or missing wing. Now obviously this is a straightforward breakdown of what's required, which I have taken from a document highlighting Star Citizen's ship repair system that I will link in the description below. However, this was written back in 2015, so it may have changed a little from, from then, but I'm pretty sure it's only grown in more complexity due to this physical material system. But what I love about how repair will function in Star Citizen is how there will, as usual, be a skill basis applied 
and knowing what construction materials are needed, knowing how to mix them into the repair compound, and then the hands-on application of that compound to repair is all going to require skill and knowledge that can be learned through experience. So talking of gathering raw resources, salvaging will be greatly affected by the physical material system as well. Now, of course, not all ships will be repairable. There could just be some ships rendered derelict that are left behind in various states of disarray, be that in small pieces or a full hull that is no longer flight worthy left to rot. But when it comes to salvaging, physical materials will be one of the major factors that will separate a seasoned, highly skilled salvager from a noob. Now, for example, if all ships are made up of varying materials, each of these materials are going to have a monetary value to them, meaning that each individual ship will have hotspots of more valuable materials than others. So when it comes to salvaging, physical materials will heavily help to create that skill level in which those who know each ship inside out will know which are the best materials to start gathering, as you wouldn't want to fill up on the lesser valued materials first, taking up the valuable space and each ship will be different and there are a lot of ships so a seasoned salvager will have a vast amount of knowledge of each ship instinctively knowing where to start stripping first to get the best time per money so moving on one other area that will be heavily influenced by this physical material system is base building as we know all buildings and structures will be made from various materials that age degrade and take damage so they will require maintenance and upkeep or even repair if more severe damage was taken now of course just like repairing ships the raw materials needed to repair our own homesteads will be required and either gathered by the structure's owner or attained from a shop or even delivered by a courier to your homestead buildings of any kind that we construct will require this maintenance as the age and degradation due to the environment will be heavily influencing this. We will need to repair and keep them structurally sound. And of course, this physical material system is going to be a big part of that. So finally, the physical damage and material system will massively affect the overall economy. As people are taking damage, items get lost, broken and so on, they will need replacing or repairing. Now, as each item in the world has its raw material makeup, and will require all these various raw materials to be created or repaired, this will shape much of the dynamic economy. Consider even a small skirmish between, say, four fighters. Now, each ship has its base materials, its armor, components, subcomponents, weapons, times that by four, or even just swap a fighter out with a constellation or a hammerhead or something even bigger. And that is a huge amount of materials taking damage and needing repairing. For example, a power plant will require X, Y, and Z to be made. Those raw materials will need to be gathered, then refined, then delivered to the appropriate factory that craft those power plants, and once manufactured, delivered to a store to be sold on. And so the circle of life will just continue. So this upcoming physical damage and material system will not only make up the backbone of the economy, but also heavily rely on and affect all other areas of the verse. So I guess the next question is, how long will it be until we see the physical materials get implemented? Now, obviously, there's no way of knowing, but it was mentioned that right now they are currently going through all of the materials they have in game and writing out a huge Excel sheet to document each material and its expected values using real life data to ensure that they are realistically represented. Of course, this means it's going to be a while as they are yet to even begin implementing these values. However, I would expect to see various materials get implemented over time with more being rolled out with each patch rather than waiting until all materials have their values and then implementing them in one go. But either way, this system is a huge overhaul and will completely reshape many aspects of the game for the direction it's heading. Unfortunately, it will take a considerable amount of time to get completed, but personally, I am more than happy to wait for this as I think it'll be totally worth it. But that is why the physical material system is extremely important and exciting and will affect so many areas of the game. And once it begins to roll out, I do expect quite a drastic change to the game as a whole and how we approach this game. But with that said, be sure to let me know what excites you regarding the physical material system. And if you do enjoy my content in this video, please consider subscribing. 
Also, if you want to hang out with me and talk about all things Star Citizen, do head over to my Twitch channel. It is linked below. It is twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. You are all more than welcome. If you can hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And if you want to be notified when my videos go live, tick that little notification bell. Again, these videos are possible thanks to my very generous patrons and channel members. Thank you, guys. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.